Hi there and welcome to this brand new SketchUp rendering tutorial using Arial Vision. So today I'm going to show you how you can add self-glow to objects and especially screens in your SketchUp model. It's very easy but I'm very excited to show you uh, what it works like because it really makes much of a difference. So in order to show you what it works like I've created this uh, studio slash desk area office area where we've got uh, this computer screen with a laptop and just a regular office. Uh, but if you I would render this uh, the way it would normally look like then uh, this would be uh, the end result and as you can see it looks pretty good already. I only uh, clicked on render so the green render button that was basically it I didn't add any other effects to the uh, model in order to make it look better but um, now I am actually going to add uh, some effects because I'm going to add the self glow option which is very easy to add in uh, aerial vision but it does really make much of a difference when you're rendering screens which is exactly what we do right now so in order to um, yeah, render your screen or add self glow you've got to right click on the screen and then uh, go to the aerial vision uh, part and then added material and then this menu pops up and from there uh, you see very many presets but we don't have to look at the presets today you just go to self glow and you can experiment with it a little bit but once you render in exterior with sun 30 seems to be a good number and then we've got a laptop as well so you might think well then I've got to add that separately but because SketchUp and Aerial Vision actually recognize that it's the same material you don't actually have to uh, change the material or change or add the uh, self glow to that other laptop as well you can just render it immediately because it knows that that background should uh, function as self glow and therefore it will automatically uh, add self glow to that screen as well so then you uh, go to uh, the regular render menu where you just choose exterior with sun in this case and just a high resolution and then here you see the transition from what it used to be to what it is now and as you can see it really looks much brighter here you see me transitioning into another scene where you also again see the self glow on the screen and as you can see it really just uh, looks much more bright and um, much more realistic because of course computers computer screens give off light so therefore they should also give off light in your render and as you can see it's very easy to do this with aerial vision but uh, not only computer monitors give off light but also billboards do so I've also added a small billboard at the back or outside of this house or outside of this office as you can see this is what it looks like when I render it without changing anything so without adding self glow but now I'm going to add it again and right click area vision re-added material and then add some self glow in this case I'm going for 30 again just to be safe but uh, in this case because it's outside you could have or I could have chosen a little bit of a higher self glow rate but you really have to play around with this yourself to figure out what settings function best for what um, situation so as you can see this is what it looks like right now and it's a small change but actually has a big influence because it looks so much more realistic because of course billboards normally also give off light so it's really realistic to also make them give off light in your render in SketchUp. So anyways this is basically it. In this short tutorial you've learned how you can add self glow and in that way uh, make your renders much more realistic and in the upcoming few episodes of this tutorial series I'm going to show you how you can add a very many other uh, render tricks and t uh, into your uh, model in order to make this office look much better so we're going to continue working on this office just to make it look as realistic in the end as I possibly can using aerial vision so thank you for watching this and make sure you check out the upcoming tutorials to see how we're going to make this studio or this office area even better thank you for watching